I never thought there was something as beautiful in this world as my daughter. Do you know that snakes are not dangerous? Many of us have fond memories of Steve Irwin, the infamous crocodile hunter, but let's not forget about his incredible daughter, Bindi Irwin. She might interact with dangerous animals, but she managed to avoid so many of the pitfalls that usually plague child stars. When you're named after a ferocious crocodile, you pretty much have no choice other than to grow up tough. Bindi is the daughter of conservationists Steve and Terry Irwin, and yes, her parents named her after Steve's favorite croc at the Australia Zoo. Fun fact, her middle name is Sue after her father's beloved dog, Suey, who was just a little less intimidating than Bindi the Crocodile. Her family became famous thanks to the show The Crocodile Hunter, which was a wildlife documentary hosted by Steve and Terry. Being a fan of animals is just part of being an Irwin, but Bindi does have other interests. Ever since she was a little kid, she's been appearing on television in shows like The Crocodile Hunter Diaries and The Wiggles Wiggly Safari. We have a feeling the Wiggly Safari is a little less dangerous than the ones Bindi is used to. Bindi also hosted her own show called Bindi the Jungle Girl, which was a wildlife show for children featuring Bindi's zeal for animals as well as her singing and dancing skills. She's also been in movies like Free Willy, Escape from Pirate's Cove, and Return to Nim Island. Now, getting down and dirty with wild animals is one thing, but working in the entertainment industry is something else entirely. As her father Steve so poignantly pointed out, crocodiles are upfront in their desire to destroy you, but sometimes people pretend to be your friend first. The old beloved child star who acts out when they got older is more than just a Hollywood trope. It's a sad reality for many stars. Not only has Bindi managed to avoid it, but she's only grown more famous as she's gotten older. There's no denying her initial fame was due to her parents, but even after Steve's tragic passing, Bindi's star continues to rise. Her career has been downright wholesome ever since she was a little girl, but that doesn't mean she hasn't had her challenges. We all know one of the fastest ways for celebrities or celebrity hopefuls to get attention is to start a feud with someone and bonus points if it plays out on social media. There's Rihanna and Cardi B, Machine Gun Kelly and Eminem, and Bad Baby and Woe Vicky, just to name a few. But when Bindi was only 11 years old, she got into her very first feud. Except that it was super one-sided and the person talking badly about her was a grown adult. Yeah, nowadays we call that bullying, but it's not exactly cute. When Bindi appeared on the show Spicks and Specs, Australian comedian Fiona O'Laughlin was less than impressed by, and let's say it again, an 11-year-old girl. Fiona called Bindi a freak, creepy, and said she needed a slap in the face. Yikes! Most people would consider making cruel remarks towards a child a low point in their career, but Fiona doubled down on those statements years later. She again called Bindi a freak and went on to disparage her entire family, particularly her late father, Steve Irwin. I said she was yeah. a freak, which yeah, 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 yeah. she is. Yeah, that's so, fine. <laughs> yeah, I said she was a freak. Yep. Uh, what I meant was... She's afraid. Yeah, he's right. <laughs> Double yikes. But sadly, Fiona isn't the only one who has had negative things to say about Bindi as she's grown up in the spotlight. When Bindi was 15 years old, she encouraged girls her age to avoid dressing older than their ages and slathering on tons of makeup. She promoted a simple jeans and t-shirt style, but a year later she posted a selfie which got everyone talking. It's nothing scandalous, but Bindi is clearly wearing some lipstick and eyeliner at the very least, and many people were quick to declare her hypocritical considering her past statements. I know, it's breaking news. Teenager changes mind, adjusts fashion tastes, and takes a selfie. Riveting. But Bindi's next controversy was much bigger and was tied into her career as a conservationist. She partnered with SeaWorld in order to promote a project called Generation Nature. The goal of the program was to teach children, which is a noble goal, but many fans were outraged that Bindi was working with SeaWorld in light of the Blackfish documentary, which dealt with their treatment of orcas. Although Bindi was excited to carry on her dad's footsteps, many people slammed her decision to work with SeaWorld. People for the Ethical Treatment of Animals, or PETA, was quick to step in and condemn Bindi and her entire family for their actions. Later, PETA would go on to criticize a Google Doodle for featuring Steve Irwin, who they claimed was an enemy of wildlife. You can pretty much imagine how well that went over with an internet full of people who adored Steve. 
But Bindi wasn't discouraged and even started to branch out into other areas of entertainment. She appeared on Dancing with the Stars, but even that came with added complexity since she was only 17 years old at the time. Before she could cash her paycheck, Bindi had to get court approval since she was a minor. Her mother, Terry, signed off, but thanks to a court snafu, Bindi had to prove that her father had relinquished his rights to her earnings. The only problem with that, of course, was that Steve had perished years earlier. Fortunately, this sad situation was soon sorted out and Bindi went on to not only appear on Dancing with the Stars, but she won. She dedicated her final performance with partner Derek Huff to her late father, claiming she was drawing upon his strength and knowing he's still with her. Even though her father has passed on, Bindi still likes to think he would approve of her life choices, including her fiance, Chandler Powell. It probably won't surprise you to know that Bindi met the love of her life at, where else, the Australian Zoo. We just fell in love and yeah. that was it. At the time, Bindi was 14 years old and Chandler was 15 and nobody knew how long their romance would last. Chandler didn't manage to get Bindi's details before the trip ended, so he had to reach out to her mom, Terry, and ask if it was okay to contact Bindi. The two kids embarked on a long-distance relationship, which is something very few adults are capable of navigating. Eventually, Bindi would reveal their relationship during a red carpet event for Dancing with the Stars. Steve once said Bindi should hold off on dating until she's 40 and then only date someone capable of swimming across a crocodile pond. Although Chandler might fall a little short of that, Bindi and Terry are still convinced Steve would have adored him. Chandler ended up proposing to Bindi on her 21st birthday and made sure her younger brother Robert Irwin was on hand to capture the happy moment on film. The happy couple began planning their nuptials and of course, Bindi requested the one thing brides really want on their wedding day, koalas. But Bindi doesn't plan on being escorted down the aisle by a marsupial, instead her brother Robert will do the honors. Bindi claims to be grateful for the big part her little brother plays in her life and says their relationship is one of love and encouragement. She's thrilled Robert will be at her side on her big day and she knows Steve would approve. Bindi could get married anywhere in the world, but she's been offered a special place by a longtime family friend. Actor Russell Crowe gifted Bindi a $25,000 Rolex following her engagement and offered her the use of one of his lavish estates for her wedding day. While that's definitely a glamorous option, Bindi may also get married at the zoo where she met Chandler and where he asked her to be his wife. According to Bindi, the Australia Zoo is where she feels the closest to Steve. Although Bindi was a little girl when Steve passed away, she admits she's been known to cry when she sees old footage of her father. Bindi claims the old adage, time heals old wounds, hasn't been true for her and she still feels as though she's missing a piece of her heart. She described her father as an incredible sounding board and incredibly wise, and admits she often wishes she could benefit from his advice. To help deal with her feelings, Bindi wrote a message to Steve and shared it on Instagram. She told Steve he would be so proud of Robert and the way he supported Bindi over the years. But sadly, this joyous time in Bindi's life is marred by an estrangement from one of her living family members. Her paternal grandfather, Bob Irwin, also works as a conservationist and is responsible for the Bob Irwin Wildlife and Conservation Foundation. There was a time when he worked for the Australia Zoo like the rest of the Irwins, but he resigned, citing difficulties getting along with his son's widow, Terry. He criticized Terry for her treatment of the staff and the way she's chosen to commercialize her rescue and rehabilitation efforts. Ever since Steve passed away, Bob has pulled away from Terry, Bindi, and Robert. When asked if he was interested in making amends with his granddaughter in light of her upcoming wedding, he commented that he wants nothing to do with any of it. Bob claimed not to be interested in Bindi's life and declined to congratulate her on her Dancing with the Stars victory. Although he acknowledged that it's sad he isn't on speaking terms with his family, he said it's just the way things are. Although sources claiming to be friends with Bob say he's hopeful for a reconciliation with his grandkids, his statement seemed to indicate quite the opposite. In Bob's 2016 autobiography, The Last Crocodile Hunter, A Father and Son Legacy, he claimed to feel proud of Bindi and Robert from afar. In addition to dealing with family drama, Bindi is also having to contend with the standard rumors which come with being a celebrity. Currently, she's dealing with numerous sources which claim she's expecting her first child with Chandler. Allegedly, Bindi's been eager to start a family since she was 19, but her mom begged her to wait until she was 21 years old. Considering all this comes from an unidentified source, you can't blame us for being skeptical. Although there have definitely been some bumps along the road this far, and we're not talking about baby bumps, overall it's been smooth sailing. Bindi's been in the public eye since she was a kid, and overall it's been a massive success. When she was nine, she became the youngest performer to win a Daytime Emmy Award for her work on Bindi the Jungle Girl, and she also won the Young Conservationist of the Year Award in 2014. Even though her family has experienced their share of tragedy, 
tragedies, Terry, Robert, and Bindi have managed to stick together through the years and support each other no matter what. This seems to have made a difference in their lives and kept them from going wild. Well, wild in a different way than catching crocodiles, you know what we mean. According to Chandler, he's been made to feel like part of the family ever since he first met Bindi, and he's just excited to make things official. Instead of feeling burdened by her father's legacy, Bindi seems to be emboldened by it and lets him inspire all of the amazing things she's been able to accomplish at such a young age. I'm so lucky. I have the best family and I found my person in life. What do you think about the life and career of Bindi Irwin? Is she honoring her father's legacy or has she gotten too far off track? Let us know what you think in the comment section and then click on the subscribe button for more videos from us here at The Taco. We'll see you next time.